Cancer, welcome. It's Jeff here at Raise Your Vibration TV, and it is time for your weekly tarot reading. So welcome. This is going to be for March 4th all the way to March 10th. We're going to get the vibes for this week and see how things are going. What are our challenges? What are our opportunities? What's going on with love, money? We, we hit it all, baby doll. We hit it all. All right, so we're getting ready to get in the spring. Let's see what we got for, oh, let's see what we got for us. All right, those cards went flying. I got to go grab those, but I want to finish the shuffle. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let me grab those cards really quick. Okay. Please stand. All right, let's see what we got for you this week, Cancer. Okay. How do we do this? Mm -hmm. All right. Hmm. We got an interesting story playing out for this week, Cancer. So let's go over it, shall we? First of all, we got the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords cuts all cords. She speaks her truth. It's not necessarily a he or a she thing. It is an energy. So this embodies speaking your truth, standing up for what is right, looking at things in a different perspective, taking stock of your life, looking at your future, and really being excited about it. It's all about strength for you for this week. So you've got to work on your heart chakra. You have to uh, work on your self-confidence, that kind of thing. And then we have the star. The star is a great time to heal. So there's a lot of you using your strength and using this time for healing. The Knight of Pentacles is a slow and steady race. It brings an opportunity. There could be an apology or some uh, form of commitment coming up here for you. But what this also means is you're planting the seeds of your desires. And the seven of pentacles is showing that you should be putting in the energy into this. You see how this person is planting the seeds and this person is putting the energy and the work into it to blossom. You're putting in the effort and things will balance out in time. So there's divine timing at work here. And the three of pentacles shows working with a group of people being recognized. You're putting in the work and it already pays off. So this could be about a job, a career change, um, you putting in the time to your own business, that kind of thing. But this is, this is working energy. This is starting something. This is getting it together, cancer. But it's going to take some strength and to heal, but you've got to make the decision to balance this out and to put your energy into only what reciprocates. And it's a slow crawl, so don't get antsy or frustrated about it, all right? Let's clarify. Let's see what we got. But it's it's job-related, it's wealth-related. There's, you know, three pentacles here, all in the right position also. It shows a process, absolutely. So let's get some clarifiers and see what they got to say. Yeah, there's a definite need for rest. Okay, we may be feeling stuck in the past about something. And maybe that's with it with that Queen of Swords energy that you have to use. This is the Six of Pen the Six of Cups, which is always about past relationships. Eight of Swords shows that we're we're stuck in a in a mindset that doesn't need to exist anymore. And that's what we're pondering. How do we let this go? We need to put it to rest. Four of Swords always says to put it to rest. But it's also a time of healing also. And the Sun card. So a lot of you Cancers can be dealing with a, uh, Leo right now. And you could use that solar plexus energy. In the meantime, it's time to make plans. You're ready. Time to make plans. King of Pentacles is somebody that is a business owner, somebody that's smart with their money, someone that's secure in what they are. They're grounded. This is also working with earth energy too. 
So there is a great opportunity for you to heal the past and to move forward. There's no doubt about that. And I think you've been waiting for this. And it's time. This is empowering. But we're dealing with something in the past that we need to let go of. There's no doubt about that. All right, so let's throw some oracles at it and see what we got. They needed to be shuffled a little more. Sometimes when they just flop out like that. I did a few readings today before this, so. All right, more on the floor. God, I need like a net. <laughs> oh my God. All right. Here, here, here. Let's see. All right. It's time to start using that creative energy that you have. This could also be sexual frustration also, but this is about willpower. This connects the root to the sacral. So this is that creative, that passionate energy that comes up. You just need to be patient with your process. There's a lot of symbolism going on here about people being patient and putting the energy into their new ideas, into their creations. I would highly do that. And the four of wands, that is foundations and achievements. This is you being recognized, a happy home. If things haven't been balanced out, you need to work this out. You need to heal it. All right? But you need to come up with some creative solutions and be passionate about what you're doing. And just know that it's going to take some time. Slow and steady wins the race with this one, Cancer. Usually I'm telling Capricorn that, but it's your turn. All right. Let's get some Psychic Tarot for the Heart Oracles Ooh, and see what they got to say. Okay. Listen. Listen to your inner voice. Listen to your intuition this week. It will guide you. Listen to what other people have to say. Maybe you're just not having it. You're just not having it. But pay attention to what the universe is telling you, especially in this message. Throat chakra, when you speak your truth, when you speak your truth, you take the lead. And spread your wings. Two, two, two. Look at that. Two, two, two. Very good. Yeah. Queen of Swords, speak your truth. You see how the throat chakra flag is flying high up there? You see that? Plain as day. Can't make this shit up. Some of you cancers got to speak your truth in order to take the lead in this week. All right, let's look at love because I don't think we only got the six of cups. So we may be reminiscing about a past relationship. We may be um, trying to heal ourselves from a past relationship. But that's the only, only lo love card that came up. So this could be past life residual stuff. Let's get some messages for love for... Cancer. Wow, we get a lot. Mm. Oh boy. Okay, well, I'm going to tell you this right now in love. We got the emperor and the empress out here. Holy shit. And when that happens, that is a big deal. That means that this could be a past life relationship or this is something that was very significant to you. Very significant. Here we have. The King of Swords with the Queen of Swords, again, emphasizing this match. Oh boy, what's going on here? What is going on? This is incredible. Hmm. We also have the Seven of Pentacles, so we got to put in the work into our relationships too. The Nine of Pentacles shows that we need to be confident. That's taking the lead. That's spreading your wings. The Three of Pentacles. This could be somebody you're, I don't know, for some of you Cancers. Actually, we got the Three of Cups here too. So pay attention to 333, three, three, 222, and 333. Three, three. Also, we have uh, an indication here that there is a significant relationship, huge for you, Cancer, that is coming through work or through a friend group. 
I think maybe you need to take the, the lead and speak your truth to this person. And then we have the chariot in the world. This is going to be very successful in love. Wow. We just probably need to let go or we need to make amends or there is something big going on here. This could be two best friends that have been in love with each other since day one and they try to keep it in the friend zone and they just can't. That could resonate for some of you cancers. But there is definite recognition here. Um, friends becoming <laughs> more than friends. I, I, hmm. Something significant's going on here. You heard it here first. Remember when I said apology at the beginning of the reading? Apology. You can expect the apology you want to hear. Maybe you are giving the apology or vice versa. The roles can be reversed, but there is definitely someone speaking their truth. Denial. Detach with love to clearly see the truth. Listen to that message. You might be in denial that you're still hanging on to your ex when you have a beautiful relationship blossoming right in front of you. Marriage, this relationship is moving towards a sacred union. Sacred union is very key in this because we have the king of swords, the queen of swords, and the emperor and the empress. I mean, whew, and this could be coming together. This could, two families coming together. I mean, the marriage card is out here twice. This is big, Cancer. So pay attention. Listen to the messages that are being told to you. And I hope this resonates. All right, let's get some closing messages. See what they got to say. God damn it. <laughs> oh, hold on. All right. Pay attention. Cancer, you're being asked to pay close attention to the signs you're being given. Both the subtle ones and the ones you can't be that can't be missed. These signs will help you see how to best move forward in order to live your best life. You can't make this shit up, folks. Patience. That's a big message this week. You're being asked to practice patience right now. It's not easy to do this, but you're strong and there's a reason why things aren't aligning in the way you want them to in this moment. Have patience. It will eventually work out. And last but not least, miracles. You're being asked to pay extra close attention to all the big and small miracles that have already occurred in your life and also to those that are currently occurring and are still to come. Miracles surround you, Cancer. Be on the lookout for them. Listen. Pay attention. Patience. That's a huge message for you, Cancer. Thank you so much. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all next week.